Hey guys, zk 47 Master here, back with some more Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver and bad camera lighting for the win! This place is incredibly dark, so I'm just gonna try to get right into the battle, because the camera probably looks like crap right now, so let's just get into this battle with Morty. And I'm back, and hopefully this will be a full-length episode, you know, 11, 13 minutes, and we're gonna have a gym battle in it. And this is gonna be an interesting gym battle, because... I actually legitimately had to prepare for this battle. I've had quite a bit of trouble with this battle. And you're going to see my Scyther is a lot stronger than before. Mainly because I actually um, drained about 5 levels of it. Or gained 5 levels of it in the daycare center. I literally went to the daycare center, deposited my Scyther and my Graveler in there to basically train. And I also got some items like Revive, Full Heals, and lemonades so I could be ready for just about anything that Morty throws out at us and I might have over prepared but trust me I needed it I was getting my my butt spanked especially with this Gengar out here last time because my Pokemon doesn't were not strong enough um, I didn't really have to do anything for my uh, which my bay leaf it's still at level 25 which is a decent level at this point but, you know, for my other Pokemon, Graveler, my Scyther, especially my Scyther. My Scyther is going to be the star of this battle. Which, it's not looking, the star isn't looking that good now, so let's use a Lemonade. And I am not taking a chance here. <laughs> Guys, I have died too many, I have failed too many times to Morty to take even the slightest chance with this. I'm not even playing around right now. I'm dead serious. I am dead serious. Oh, that is not good. Alright, let's see. At least I'm faster than it. So this pursuit should take out Gengar. Yes, there we go. So, okay. I, maybe I over-prepared a little bit, a bit much. You know, maybe I'm a bit too much too prepared. But hey, you can never, you can never be too sure, at least. So anyways, the next Pokemon. The level 21, Haunter. Now, this is the one you're gonna... This is one of his Pokemon you're gonna wanna watch out for. Because I believe he knows Dream Eater. Yep, he's trying to get me to sleep, so chances are he has Dream Eater. And Morty does use Hyper Potions. Surprisingly, he didn't use one on his Gengar, but he's using one on his Haunter, so that makes no sense. Alright. So, as you just witnessed, Morty actually has the entire Ghastly family, so... Again, keep in mind, back in the day, in Gold and Silver, there really wasn't a big variety of ghost types, and he has another Haunter, apparently, at level 23 this time. Okay. I, I was expecting him to have a Mischievous, at least some Pokemon that was from the second gen. All of these Pokemon are first gen. How boring. Alright. <laughs> oh, well. But that's, it seems like that's about it for Morty, and I was incredibly over... <laughs> prepared for this battle it was crazy but at least I'll be well off for you know the next few gems because the next few gems are also going to be pretty tough especially the si the sixth gem and that is it for Morty all right so now he's going to give us the fog badge Alright, so that means any Pokemon up to level 50, in including traded Pokemon, will obey me. And I could use Surf outside of battle. Plus, I did get Surf um, off screen accidentally. Sorry, guys. Or anyways, he's gonna give us TM30, which is Shadow Wall. It is a very powerful ghost type move. It's like the counterpart to Psychic, essentially. Okay. Now that we're done with that, let's just switch over to Chi Chi, because my Graveler and Scyther are crazy levels, level 29 and 28. Well, not too crazy, but, you know, compared to my Chi Chi, Chi Chi's only level 25, so, you know, it's quite a big gap. So I'm going to try to even that out and move on to the next route on the way to Olivine City. And we got some awesome music here. In Route 38. Alright, south to Olivine City, so let's get these battles going. Oh, 
Okay, so that was a fairly quick battle, and don't worry, we got plenty of battles here. Um, what am I gonna do here? Oh, I'm gonna heal my Paralys. Paralyzation now. Chi Chi. And we should be good for the next battle. Yes, I even bought full heals for the match. And none of my Pokemon got put to sleep, anyways. Yeah. Talk about overprepared. I believe this guy talks about Professor Oak. Alright, does he say anything about Professor Oak? Yeah, he does. I believe he does give you your number, so I actually will take this guy's number. He's pretty cool. Okay. Ah, oh, great. We have to go around now. Um, did I use a repel? No, I did not. Alright, at least I use one now. Okay. So, I'll skip that trainer and do it off screen. And I believe that should leave us on Route 39, which will lead see this guy, Baoba. What do you hold? What are you holding? Is what they call a Pokedex. I haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Baoba. I used to run a Safari Zone in Future City, but it was becoming out of date with new entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas and learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art Safari Zone in Cayennewood. It would be more than a coincidence that we are chatting. Alright, so this guy's gonna be interesting for later on when we get to Cayenne Wood City. Alright, and with that, I will see you guys on the next episode. Got a call from mom. Okay, so on the next episode, we will check out Moo Moo Farm, which is right here. Moo Moo Farm. And head off to Alvine City. See you guys then.